Oh, look at this. This is new, guys. I never seen this. Guys, please watch this video from the beginning till the end so you don't miss any of the important tips I'm going to give you. Hey, guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. And today I want to transfer my WhatsApp from the iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy S8 Active. The Samsung Galaxy S8 Active has Android version 9. And here I have an iPhone 7 with iOS 15.7.3. Okay, so I want to see if it works. This is my WhatsApp. I have some little text chats and stuff right here. And here also I have WhatsApp. So this is important, guys. You're only going to be able to transfer apps that are on the iPhone and are not on the Android. So if you have WhatsApp here and you try to do the transfer, WhatsApp is not going to be transferred because you have it here on Android. So the first thing you need to do is find out if you have WhatsApp and if you have it, delete it. Click there and click uninstall WhatsApp. Do you want to uninstall this app? OK, uninstall WhatsApp so you don't have WhatsApp anymore. I want you to open your Play Store and you're going to look for a smart switch. If you click here, there's an update. So do the update, please. All right. That's great. So that means that I have the latest version of Samsung Smart Switch Mobile. So once I have it, just leave it there, you know, and then on the iPhone, really important, guys, you need to do two backups. The first one, WhatsApp chats, chat backup, backup now. You can see here that my backup is only 169 megabytes. And once it's done, I want you to do a backup of the iCloud because on the iPhone, the backup gets stored on the iCloud. So now that you finish doing the backup on the WhatsApp, I want you to go to your iCloud account, click on iCloud and click on iCloud backup. Backup now. Once you have those two things, and now that you have the latest version of smart switch you can also do this you know just in case guys go to software update make sure you have the latest android version compatible with your device in my case looks like android 9 is gonna be yeah current software is up to date okay so the backup is done last successful backup at 7 42 pm let me see if i have a ios update i might yeah, there's one, but it's only, it's like a 0.5, you know, so it's at 15.7.5. That 0.5 is mostly a security update. So I will suggest you to do it, but I don't have time to do it right now. So I'm just going to keep it like that. The other thing, guys, make sure you have both devices charged 100% because once we connect both devices with the cable, the iPhone is going to take the battery from the Android. Also, you're going to need a special cable that is going to go from the lighting to the USB-C. This cable costs $10. I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to buy it at Amazon. So connect both devices. See what happened. Boom. Right there. Immediately, it says choose an app for the USB device. We're going to select Smart Switch and just once. Connecting to transfer your data. I should get a message here on the iPhone saying trust this computer. I didn't get it because I already trust this computer, but you should get that message, right? So now that you deselect everything, just select apps. Okay. And then click transfer. Checking for matching apps. And you can see here what's up. So I want you to deselect all these three and just keep WhatsApp Messenger and then click install. Transferring data from your old phone, it says. Backing up iPhone. So it's saying transfer data from your old phone. But it's weird because we didn't see the QR code. Let's see if we're going to see the QR code, guys. Hopefully. Done transferring your data. Copy 47. Data transfer results. Next. Important turn off iMessage. Next. Get the content you have stored in your iCloud. I'm not going to do this. They said all set. So where's WhatsApp? WhatsApp is here. Okay, but we didn't see that QR code, guys. So I don't trust. I don't think this is going to work. Okay, so it looks like Android 9 is not going to work. Let me try another Samsung device with Android 13. This is the Samsung Galaxy X Cover Pro. Hopefully this is going to work, guys. Because, you know, as my video says, you need to see this transfer WhatsApp chats. The first thing is we're going to see if we have WhatsApp. Yeah, here's WhatsApp. So delete WhatsApp. Uninstall. And it says, do you want to uninstall this app? Okay. And it says, keep 15 megabytes of app data. Do not keep anything. Do not select this, guys. Don't keep anything. Just click OK. And that's going to uninstall WhatsApp. Uninstall WhatsApp. Then open your Play Store. You're going to search for Smart Switch, right? And look at this. We have an update. So update Smart Switch. 
Yes, it's updated. Okay. All right, guys. So looks like we are ready. Uh, we're going to connect the iPhone and the Samsung. Let's see what happened. And I'm going to click smart switch just once. And I'm not seeing trust this computer because I already trust this phone. They're just going to get the data. I'm going to deselect all the items. Just going to select apps and I'm going to click transfer. Let's see what happened. I'm going to deselect all this stuff. I'm just going to select WhatsApp transfer and install. There you go, guys. You see, so this is the confirmation that this only works on Android, I think 10 and up. We tried on Android 9 and it didn't work. And I have another phone with Android 12 that it should work too. So we're just going to read that. We're going to open the camera on the iPhone. I'm going to put it on top. Then you want to open this QR code. And this is what we want to see, guys. Move chats to Android. We're going to click start. And continue on your new phone. I only have 150 megabytes of data. You're going to have 5, 10, 20, 25, 30 gigabytes of data. So imagine how long this is going to take, guys. You need to take your precautions. Try to slim down your backup. Make it less than 10 gigabytes if you can. And charge both devices. Do all the updates. Do the backups here. And it should work, guys. Look at this. Almost done, right? Right there. Done. Transfer your data. Go to home screen. Okay. And I think this is done. I can just do this. Continue on your new iPhone, right? So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to open. Let's see what happened there. Yeah. Apps. WhatsApp. Click on WhatsApp. And we're going to set up WhatsApp English. Agree and continue. I'm going to click allow. This needs to be the same phone number that I was using on the iPhone. And that phone number is 786-695-3611. Right there. 3611. So I'm going to click next and double check the number. And I should get a code here because the SIM card is here, guys. Use your other phone to confirm moving WhatsApp to this one. Open WhatsApp on your other phone and get the six digits code. I didn't get any... Uh, Cancel transfer because this is done. Oh, look at this. This is new, guys. I never seen this. Use your other phone to confirm moving WhatsApps to this one. And the code actually goes to this old phone. Look at this, guys. This is beautiful. This is new, guys. All right. 333349. Now it's verifying this phone. And this one is going to get disconnected, I guess. Yes. Your phone number is not longer registered with WhatsApp on this iPhone. Okay. So I'm going to click continue here. Allow allowed allowed importing chat history this is the beautiful thing guys this is what you want to see click start importing chat history this is really fast because i don't have a lot of data import complete import complete this is what you want to see guys next I'm gonna click here usually it shows my name but i'm just gonna put my name again okay initializing and we're gonna click daily to this account and done. So you're gonna see numbers here on the contacts that are not here, but I mean, that's okay because we transfer everything, guys. Look at this, this cat, right? Got this card, I have everything, guys. This is successful. Now, guys, what I can do is I can do a backup. What I can do is the three dots, settings, chats. I can do chat backup. And now instead of being safe at the iCloud, it's going to be safe at Google Drive. Okay. On this account. And then I have it on Google Drive. I can have it on any Android device. Okay, guys. So to learn, we learn that looks like Android 9 is not enough for this transfer. You need Android 10 and up to be able to transfer all your WhatsApp data from the iPhone to the Android for free, guys. This is free. One more thing, guys, before I leave, a lot of people ask me where the SIMs needs to be. Right now, the SIM card is on the iPhone, okay? And I'm going to wait till everything finish. I'm waiting till I have everything on WhatsApp here. I'm going to take the SIM card from the iPhone and put it on the Android. I'm going to go to settings and here messages. 
and you're going to turn off iMessage, but only when I finish transfer everything. OK, guys, because if not, I'm not going to get the confirmation code here. So leave the SIM card on the iPhone, transfer everything to the Android. Then you move the SIM card from the iPhone to the Android, and then you start using your Android device with the SIM card with your phone number. You're going to get the phone calls and the text on the Android. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you on my next video. Let me know if you want this video in Spanish, guys. Please take care.